If some of you are trying to lose weight and you're still hungry all the time, this video is for you. Hey guys, Charan Kapan here, founder of White Life. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the importance of having fiber and certain things that trigger a lot of hunger in your system. You see, when we are trying to lose weight, definitely having lesser calories are important. Although at White Life, we do not promote calorie counting because that's not sustainable and it's not good for your mind. We've had a lot of clients who, before joining us, told us about how they were always anxious and they couldn't go out and you know live a fulfilling life because of how they're always calorie conscious. We don't want that. That being said, calories are important, but they're not the only thing. Understanding nutrition is way more important. Now, coming back to the topic, so when you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to cut down on calories in general, and you're trying to stay healthier, there are times when you, when you will start feeling very, very hungry. Now, this is because there is a shift in which the body is trying to use your body fat for energy. And at the same time, you're trying to eat lesser than you usually eat. So old habits have to be broken. So what do you do at this time? What do you do when you're feeling hungry and you shouldn't be eating a lot of food either? So the number one thing that you can do is eat a lot of food with a lot of fiber. Now hunger in our bodies are regulated by a lot of hormones. There's also some mechanical aspects as well. You see, we have something called mechanoreceptors in our stomach and in our intestines. Now this has nothing to do with the kind of foods that you eat. Moreover, when the muscles along your intestines and, mus and your stomach expands, these mechanoreceptors get active and what happens is that you feel less hungry because you're getting the sensation of being full. Now, what kind of foods can make you feel full for longer? Foods with a lot of fiber, vegetables. So eating a lot of vegetables like your greens, your carrots, your cucumbers, all these things can help you fill up faster and you won't feel hungry. You can even reduce your cravings with that. Now, the thing is some of you might not be getting enough fiber through the diet. If that's the case, you can even supplement fiber with substances like inulin, glucomannan, or even psyllium husk. These are all good options. Now, the second bit about feeling hungry all the time is about a psychological aspect. You see, emotional eating is very common. I've been there. I'm still there at times. But consciously understanding this helps you make decisions in a better way. A lot of you watching this might be able to relate. When you feel emotionally down or even extremely happy or you're celebrating something, we commonly associate it with food. We directly feel like ordering something really good or having a nice drink, something along a high calorie meal. If you're feeling a lot of stress and you feel hungry or you feel cravings to eat a lot of food because of that, meditation and active breath work is something that can really, really help you. Because eating a lot of fiber is not going to change the psychological aspect of being hungry all the time. Correct. So actively meditating and doing breath work like box breathing or the 478 breathing, this can really help you calm yourself down, reduce your cortisol levels and improve your health in an overall manner too. So if you're somebody that has to deal with a lot of stress eating, try to meditate. It's always best to actively combat all the challenges in our life rather than just avoiding them and passively hoping that they'll go through. It doesn't happen like that all the time, that's why. Now, for those of you that are trying to lose weight, something that's very important is to make sure that you're getting adequate amount of nutrients. Now, this is especially important for those of you that are calorie counting. Now, we don't do that here at Vital Life. Uh, we, we don't do that. But for those of you still want to track all your calories, it's important that you don't replace your good food with an equivalent amount of calorie containing bad foods. This is very important because what happens is then you're depleting your body of all the essential nutrients. You need all your vitamins, minerals, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, all your omegas. If you're not getting all of those things, you can still end up being hungry and crave for food because when the nutrients are not there in the body, the only way that the brain can tell the body is to be hungry. This way there's a chance that you will eat the necessary nutrients and it can help fill up the stores in your body, right? Make sure your meals are always nutrient dense with enough amount of protein, fats and the optimal amount of carbohydrates. So yeah, these are the most important key aspects that you should keep in mind if you're trying to lose weight or even stay healthy in general or if you're dealing with a lot of hunger all the time, all right? I hope this video was informative and useful to you guys. Do share with people so that we can 
bring the awareness out as much as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay aware, stay healthy so that you can live a life without limitations.